um, talk a little more specifically about the problems and solutions, and Daniel and, and, and Mark, I know you say you're not an expert, but I know you have opinions on this, so feel free to jump in on, on some of this as well. And, and Governor Bush, let me start with you. I mean, you made education reform a cornerstone uh, of your tenure as governor. Um, talk to us a little bit about what you did, the results you achieved, and also the criticism you faced, <laughs> a little bit maybe, um, during that process. Well, thank you for uh, the honor of having this film be shown in beautiful Tampa. Uh, it is truly an honor. I know that we're very grateful. So, what I love about the film is it puts a human context on something that uh, nerdy policy people think about from a policy perspective. And I, I have a confession to make. I'm one of those nerdy <laughs> policy people. So uh, this is a much more effective way of communicating the challenges that our country faces. And uh, my journey in this started long before I ran for governor, but um, as a candidate, I outlined a plan and uh, was given the chance to, because of uh, great support with great leadership in the Florida legislature, was given the authority to implement the plan. And then with great partners, uh, and the, I see Jim Horn, who was a commissioner of education here, and others, uh, at the local level, we had a chance to then execute on that. So it's one of those crazy things. I know it's not happening that much uh, these days where you actually have an idea, the idea turns into a law, the law then turns into a set of rules, and then you execute with dog and determination the implementation of that. But that's what happened in Florida, and then we ended up having the opportunity to do it again and again and again. We didn't stop, and so we grade schools 100% based on student learning. We have four or five school choice programs, some of the largest in the country. We put a focus on early childhood literacy because gaps grow very quickly. Uh, since my time, thanks to the leadership of the legislature and Governor Scott, there's now uh, a teacher evaluation system that eliminates tenure, that moves to a model where you reward improvement in terms of learning gains based on students. Another radical idea, apparently, in America today, but these things, uh, have created huge gains in learning. And all of this is about student learning. And that's the, had those, had all this stuff that was considered radical at the time failed, had we not had dramatic gains in learning, I wouldn't be sitting here. You wouldn't be wanting to hear from me. Uh, and we'd be spending more money or we'd be trying something different. But robust accountability, empowering parents with choice, a focus on students learning. Now I think with the impact of digital learning, the chance to bring technology into the classroom offers the best hope to assure that more than a third of our kids are college and or career ready by the time they complete 12th grade. And that's what we have to do. We have a third of our kids that are college or career ready, in spite of spending more per student than any country in the world. Now, we can say, you know, USA number one, and we can be proud that we won all these gold medals, and we can brag about our country, but if the foundation of our country is not just cracking, it's coming apart, because two-thirds of our kids won't be able to be successful in life, then shame on us. I mean, sh it's shameful. And so I, I hope that these movies... This out of, you know, we need to take this out of the political context and move it towards something where it's the top priority of parents and change how we organize ourselves around the next generation before it's too late. So I'm, I'm still hanging in there with this stuff because I think it's important. So let me just ask you, there are a lot of states who are, that are in the process of trying to take on a lot of things yeah. that you were able to accomplish and, and you went through a long list. Prioritize. Because you can't do it all at one time, we're finding. What do you think is the most important step? So I would say uh, accountability. That there's a consequence that's different between excellence, mediocrity, improvement, failure. Four things can happen generally. You should have a dramatically different consequence in each case. And everything ought to be aligned around student learning. So if you start there, then you start saying, well, shouldn't we give parents more choices, public and private? What, who cares? Who cares? If they're empowered to make these choices, what's, is it the system that we have to protect, or do we want to empower parents, particularly parents that don't have the resources to be able to do what's right for their kids?